I'm Jeremy Russo. I'm the game director on Knockout City. My advice is to always watch the border warning because you never know when someone's gonna come up behind you and hit you in the head. <laughs> Hi, Chris Mercado, AKA Merc, technical and gameplay designer in Studios. Trying to look for some tips on how to get good playing Knockout City? And let me tell you what, figure it out for yourself. Try new things, play with one hand, eat a banana at the same time. It's great, it's delicious. If they get salty, that's their own problem. Hey, I'm, uh, I'm Remy, I'm part of the senior QA uh, here at Valen. Really guarantee yourself a hit on the other person. Definitely kind of stop, wait, give them a second, throw it, or bait out people trying to catch immediately after they think you're gonna throw. Just hold the ball a little bit longer and then hit them with it. Hey, what's up, Dodge Brawlers? This is Rich from Valen Studios. I'm here to tell you to pass the ball. No, really, like, it's one of the buttons, pass the ball. You're... Hey, my name is Mario Nellini, uh, provided production support uh, on Knockout City. My advice uh, for playing the game is pretty simple. Uh, step one, uh, work at Balance Studios, and uh, then you're going to want to team up with uh, Chris Mercado, uh, uh, aka the Banana Guy, and you just going to want to keep passing to him. Uh, then a few weeks go by, uh, the tournament ends, and you get a pretty sweet uh, trophy, part of Team uh, War Dirks. Uh, but no, in all seriousness, uh, through the game, launch is almost there. You're, you're, it's not throw. No, no, it's not throw. No, no, that's dodge. You can jump over an enemy's dodge tango. And if you are at the edge of a map, you can even trick them into falling. My name is Tyler Trollson, and this is Jawa. We're QA analysts for Knockout City. Our best advice for playing the game is communication. You gotta make sure that you have good callouts, Keep in constant contact with your team, and you're going to have the upper edge on all of your opponents. That's tackle. No, just pass it. Just... So I'm Dan Hunter, and I've been working on Knockout City for a little over two years now. My advice to anyone who wants to be a pro at the game is to rush in full speed and try and knock out everyone on the other team, especially if you're out number 3-1, because that always works out well. Trust me. I'm Quinn Miller, associate producer on Knockout City at Bell & Studios. The key to Knockout City is not only to play your best, but to look your best doing it. Just pass the ball. Just, for once in your life, just press the pass button. Just press the pass I'm Josh. I'm the marketing manager at Bell & Studios. I've been playing Knockout City for about six months now, so my best tip for you is to really brush up on your math skills. So when you're throwing an optimally inflated dodgeball weighing 275 grams at a 45 degree angle at 10 meters per second, you need to lead your target by 1.442 seconds with your ball reaching a maximum height of 2.55 meters and traveling a total of 10.2 meters. Ugh, but obviously you need to take air resistance and wind speed into account. And I'm not even thinking about impact velocity. Josh, there's auto aim. Hey everybody, I'm Mike Armstrong. I'm a QA analyst at Velen Studios. I've been playing Knockout City for about a year and a half now. The number one takeaway that I would say is that you always want to be aware of your surroundings. You never want to be- <laughs>